Hi, in this video, um, we'll be talking about our method for identifying hate speech, specifically focusing on the personality characteristics that can be derived from text data. Um, our method includes two large components. Um, as you can see on the left-hand side, we have automated personality inference method and automated hate speech detection method on the right-hand side. So for the automated personality inference method, we um, use knowledge distillation approach where we use uh, scores, uh, 35 personality scores derived from a, a proprietary model called IBM PI as a source data. And using the source data, we teach our method, our own method for producing the personality scores that are similar to those produced by IBM PI. And these personality scores that are derived from our um, model, student model, we develop an uh, automated hate speech detection method, as you can see from the right hand side. It includes four different components. First is semantic encoding, which is very similar to what prior studies have done, where you know, large language models are used to identify semantics of text that might be related to hate speech. On top of it, we apply raw personality scores. Um, where we directly apply a 35 personality scores that are derived from uh, our student method for uh, automated personality inference. But on top of that, we have some unique uh, components which are called local intermediate personality traits and global intermediate personality traits. So if you think about from 35 personality scores, it includes five big personality factors which are high, higher level of personality characteristics and 30 uh, subcomponents. And each of the big five personality factors includes six subcomponents. So for instance, uh, conscientiousness, which is one uh, personality factor that belongs to big five personality factors, has six different components, including competence, order, dutifulness, achievements driving, self-discipline, and deliberation. Um, but what prior uh, psychology studies have suggested was that between these higher level construct and lower level construct, there might be some intermediate personality factors. And based on these studies in psychology, we suggest the following two components that can capture those intermediate personality characteristics. So in the local intermediate personality traits, right, um, we focused on within each of the big five personality factors, identifying uh, the intermediate personality traits. And then in global intermediate personality traits, we try to identify the intermediate personality traits across different uh, higher level personality factors. So evalu we evaluate our model um, using multiple data, uh, one derived from the Wikipedia and the other uh, collected from the stormfront.org, uh, which is the white supremacist uh, platform. Um, so as you can see, um, these are different components that we have suggested. Uh, you can see that raw plus LIP plus GIP, which means that raw personality factors, local, intermediate, and global intermediate all combine, in general produce the best results among the others. And this validates that our um, approach, which are based on the personality factors, specifically those that can identify intermediate personality factors, can produce some values for the task of identifying hate speech. Thank you.